Hey guys, Bankrupt Jojo. Uh, we're going to be doing a scape shift deck tech today. I don't know if you guys like it all laid out, but unfortunately because of the glare I'm just going to do it in piles. But let me know if you like it laid out, and uh, if most of you do, I will work on getting that glare fixed and um, trying to lay it out for you. So we got four CRM Visions. This is obviously to dig for scape shift or many other spells you might need in different situations. Uh, two repills. Um, very important, like if you're playing against like Blood Moons, um, there's some red creature that says you can't, I can't remember, lands can't enter from your library or something like that. I don't remember if you take damage or if pulling lands from play. There's there's quite a few things that could prevent you from, um, you know, comboing off and repills. Um, a really good way, it has a can trip on it, so really good way to help get those off the field. Um, it's an instant, so you can do it at the end of their turn and then go off on yours, so. Two repills. Uh, three snapcasters. I've seen four, but I think three is a good number. Um, snap back, you know, so many things in this deck. Uh, Segura Tri-Builder runs four of them. So good at uh, blocking, sacking, and getting you a land. Great mana. Uh, mana ramp while also saving you a little bit of damage. Uh, three is it Charms. Um, every mode in here is important. We can counter a non-creature spell, for, uh, unless they pay, uh, pay two colorless. Or we can deal two damage to target creature, or draw two cards and discard two cards. So it lets us burn something, uh, lets us counter something, and it lets us dis you know search uh, loot for something. So just a great card in this deck. Um, four remands, um, obviously good when you're going off escape shift, bounce, you know, just return it to their hand, draw a card. Uh, three telling times, um, pure through depths is also one I've been looking at, I haven't actually played with, but telling times is pretty good. Um, you can look at three top three cards, put one into your hand, one on top of your library, one on bottom, so, and it's an instant. Uh, we got two electrolyze, but you know, some people run three or whatnot. Just a great card, two damage, and draw a card. And with Scape Shift, getting them down to 18 can be very important, so hitting them for two to their face um, is very relevant. Uh, four Search for Tomorrow's, great card in your opening hand, uh, good mana ramp. But you can also snap it back if you need to, a Snapcaster Mage, and replay it. Scape Shift, the heart of the deck. Um, if you don't know what it does, sacrifice any number of lands, search your library for that many land cards, put them into play tap, then shuffle your library. So that's part of the combo. And three cryptic commands, um, very good. Um, just stalling the game against affinity, like I've tapped all their creatures multiple times, and just waiting until we get to our escape shift. Some people run four cryptics, you know. It can all vary. For lands, we have two misties. Um, I've seen people run four. Um, two's been fine. I really haven't had too much trouble. Um, so that's what I run. We have uh, two brewing pools, four steam vents, four stomping grounds. Need a lot of forests. And another reason, I mean, not so many Misties, is you have to have certain lands come into play if you're, you know, got a lot of fetch lands. Yeah, sorry for the missed lands. I just, I don't quite have all my unglued, or, yeah, or unhinged lands, whichever ones they are. Um, so there's our basics. Good amount of basics in this deck. Um, just because we have so much mana search and mana fixing, like, we can run a good amount of basics and not a whole lot of fetch lands. Uh, Flooded Groves, good mana fixing. Uh, allows us to cast Scape Shift with just a, with, with just a single blue. Or, or green, um, or cryptic command. So, um, I've seen the Cascade Bluff one, uh, Bluffs one, which is red and blue, but I just think Flooded Grove's just fine. I might even run two over one of those. But you don't want too many of them. Helmar Depths, a uh, pretty sweet card. It comes in tapped, it adds blue mana, but you get to look at top three in your library and put them back in any order. So, decent land at letting us, you know, try to find what we need a little sooner. And two Valakutes, which obviously is what you're going to go get with Scape Shift. Um, you have to wait uh, till five lands come. Till you have five other lands in play, uh, five other mountains. So you have to have you know at least six lands. So you want to go get your Valakut and five other mountains to come into play to deal uh, 18 damage, or 15 damage. Excuse me, one more to deal 18. So that's how that combo works. Basically, when you have enough lands that you know they come in and deal three damage each, you're good to go. Um, one problem is dealing with like counter magic. Obviously, at that hope that late in the game, um, if you're playing against another blue player, you're going to want to wait until you have some counter backups, and we bring these three cards in against any blue player, some spell pierces and swan songs, to uh, just make sure our escape shift can go off, you don't mind giving them a 2-2 bird. But uh, Engineer Explosive is really good against Affinity, a um, couple other things, I mean it's a great card. Reckler Progenitus, good against like, um, can be good against Storm, uh, Living End, stuff like that, and of course we just went over those. Ancient Grudge, good against any artifact, affinity, you can even bring it against Pod. Combust is for Splinter Twin. Uh, Anger of the Gods can be good against affinity, uh, Pod. Um, two Counter Flux, I mean it's just a great spell, you can bring that in against other blue decks that have counters, or you can, uh, or you can bring it in against uh, ugh, Storm. Two Ops and Bailoffs for aggressive decks, gain four life, four four bodies, pretty sweet. 
and an Inferno Titan is just a pretty sweet card. Although, you know, I don't know, maybe a Karanos would be better in this place. But So there's a the sideboard, all that good stuff. Again, let me know if you'd rather have it all laid out. Um, I'll get that fixed. I just need to uh, probably reposition where I take these videos. So, uh, thanks for watching.